We Ask Permission by Lydia Bowers, illustrated by Isabella Munoz. We Ask Permission. Jovan peeked into the block area. He saw Jackson carefully balancing blocks to build a tall tower. Jovan crept closer. Jackson, said Jovan, jumping in for a hug. Jackson was surprised. He lost his balance and knocked over his tower. Jovan, you made my tower fall. Jovan stepped back, confused. He was just trying to say hello. Why was Jackson angry? Jackson, do you want to play detectives with me? Jovan asked. No, Jackson said angrily. He turned around to fix his tower. Humph, Jovan said, annoyed. He walked away. Detective Jovan crept along the shelves toward Deja. She was sitting in the library with Mr. B. Jovan tiptoed close, then flung his arms around Deja's shoulders. Gotcha, he said. Deja pushed him away. Jovan, get off me. Jovan frowned. Miss H waved Jovan over. Jovan, what's wrong? Jackson and Deja are being mean to me, said Jovan. Tell me more. I tried to hug them, but they got mad. They don't want me around. Jovan crossed his arms and huffed angrily. Maybe the hugs surprised them, said Miss H. It's important to ask permission before we touch someone. Every time, asked Jovan. Every time, answered Miss H. Why don't we start practicing that? Jovan nodded. Next, to Jovan, the guinea pig cage rattled. Jovan's eyes lit up. He turned towards the guinea pigs and said, Hi, Ramona. Hi, Ace. Ramona snuffled and squeaked, her little nose wiggling. Ace ran into the little hut. Jovan tapped on the cage. Ace, Ace, hello, Ace. Can I pet you? He poked his fingers at Ace, who hid under the bedding. Jovan's eyebrows scrunched together. Miss H said gently, Jovan, tapping on the cage, it cage scares our pets. We are a lot bigger than they are. But I wanted to say hi to Ace. I even asked if I could touch him, Jovan replied. Miss H smiled. Thank you for remembering to ask. But pets can't understand or answer us the way most people can. So we get to be body language detectives. Jovan looked up in surprise. He liked to play detective. This could be fun. But there was something he didn't understand. What's a body language detective? He asked. Miss H explained, body language detectives watch for clues from other bodies. These clues help us figure out how others might be feeling. Look at Ramona. She's close to you and squeaking. That tells us she's happy and likes hearing our voices right now. What is Ace doing? Miss H asked. He's hiding, Jovan said. Yes, he ran into the hut and dug under the bedding. What do you think that tells us? Detective Jovan, he wants to be alone? Yes. 
Is being a body language detective just for pets? Asked Javon. Nope, it's for people too, said Miss H. Why don't you watch your friend's body language for clues and report back? And remember, we ask before we touch. Jovan wandered around the classroom for a bit. He walked quietly over to the block area where Jackson was still building a tower. Jackson's tongue was sticking out a little. He squinted at a spot where he was about to place a block. He moved his hands slowly as he set the block down. Jackson looked up. What are you staring at? I'm being a detective. You are? Yep. Miss H said I can figure out how people are feeling from what their bodies are doing. So what am I feeling? I think you like your tower a lot. You feel like you want to be careful with it. Yeah, that's right, said Jackson. Can I be a detective too? We can be partners, Jovan asked. Hey, Jackson, can I give you a high five? Yes, they both cheered. They slapped palms and Jovan grinned, asking first had worked. Jackson said, let's get magnifying glasses from the science table. The two boys grabbed magnifying glasses and started looking for clues. The boys walked to the library. Mr. B was still reading to Deja. Jackson held the magnifying glass close to Deja's face. She scowled and pushed it away. Jovan called, Jackson, we ask before we touch people. Deja, we're being detectives. Can we study you? Deja said, yes, but do it fast. I want to finish this book with Mr. B. The boys both looked closely at Deja. Jovan said, Deja's mouth is a straight line. I think that means go away. Deja giggled. Jackson said, now she's smiling. I think that means she's happy. Jovan looked at Mr. B. Mr. B's eyebrows are doing this, he said, copying Mr. B's wiggling eyebrows. I think that means he feels silly. Mr. B made another silly face at the children. Then he said, Jovan. Yeah, Jovan replied. You're dancing around a bit. I think this is a clue, means that you need to go potty. All three children giggled and Jovan skipped to the toilet. When Jovan returned, both boys went to Miss H, hat waving magnifying glasses. Miss H, we're good detectives. We asked to look at our friends and they said yes. What did you discover? Asked Miss H. Deja felt happy and Mr. B was being silly and Jovan had to go potty. Well done, detectives. Jovan turned to Jackson and reached for a hug. He stopped himself. He pulled back and held out his hand instead. Using a very serious detective Jovan voice, he asked, Jackson, may I shake your hand? Jackson laughed, yep. Jovan shook Jackson's hand and said, Congratulations, Detective Jackson. Congratulations, Detective Jovan, Jackson said, smiling from ear to ear. The end.